Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. Today we're doing another What's in the Box episode. Today we're looking at the Lord of the Rings card game. This was uh, put out by Fantasy Flight Games, um, and it's actually it's a living card game. So the idea being that they come out with extra modules uh, every month or however many times a year, so you continue the adventure past just the base set. Uh, but today is all about what's in the box, and we have just the actual base set itself here today for us. Um, so again, this whole thing is based on the Lord of the Rings world. Very cool looking uh, set, actually. Um, but again, we're here to find out what's in the set. So let's open this box up and figure it out. Uh, I've never actually played this before. And again, as part of the uh, what's in the box concept here, um, we're not really going to be trying to do a review of the content or anything like that. We're just uh, taking a look at what we get in the actual package itself. We, uh, I will try to do a review of the actual card game itself at some point in the future. just don't know when that will be. I am also a little bit new to the uh, the whole card game situation. Uh, I never really got into Magic the Gathering or anything like that, so I don't really know much about it, which is perfect for uh, this base set, which is just the introduction to the game itself. Let's shake it to get it to come out. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see here. We have Fantasy Flight Games Summer Catalog. So they do make a lot of these cool board games. So I may look through that here a little bit more in depth later to see what uh, other games I want to try to play. Here are the rule book that we get. It's a nice little uh, way to keep up with things on the back here, scorecard kind of thing. Uh, the instructions, some nice artwork in here. Cool, so there's the uh, rule book. We've got some uh, token sheets here. They are shrink wrapped. So that means we get to uh, slice them open because we want to look at them. Can't see through plastic very well, can we? <laughs> Alrighty, so here is the first token sheet. It's got some pretty nice stuff here. We got uh, proof of purchase here in the corner. Um, just generic tokens, a uh, nice Eye of Sauron thing here, and cool ring, and uh, I don't know, I have to look at the actual instructions to see how you actually are supposed to uh, deal with these things, but I do like it. It looks really cool. The uh, second token sheet is looks like some footprints and some other stuff and a uh, uh, spinner thing. Who knows? Still looks cool though. Then we actually have this uh, cool card holder and we've got two decks of cards in here along with some other things. Uh, looks like a piece of our token thing popped off, so yeah, we'll put that back over here until I figure out what it's supposed to be. <laughs> and then we've got these uh, things here, which are little pin spool things or buttons or something. I don't have a clue, but there are four of these little buttony things in here. Let's take a look at the card decks. Uh, actually, let's uh, put the card deck to the side for a second and just uh, look at this cool carrying case thing. Um, pretty straightforward cardboard cutout kind of thing, but it's got some really nice artwork in this thing. Uh, it looks like they're both the same on both sides, but uh, still, it's pretty awesome looking. They did a really nice job with the actual packaging art. So, yeah, very cool. These uh, cards do come in these cool little Ziploc bags, so it's a nice little touch here. Uh, we've got two decks again, so I don't know 
again anything about this particular card game or how you play it or anything so uh, I have no idea what any of these things do uh, but let's just take a look at this top card here is uh, ambush on the shore journey along the andeth the ongoing harassment from your enemies has forced your raft to the shore and you must now confront their ambush head-on if you survive this attack the path to the golden wood should be open before you and on the back ambush on the shore when revealed, reveal two encounter cards per player and add them to the staging area. Skip the staging step of the quest phase for the remainder of the game. Once there are no enemies in play, the players have won the game. So that's cool. Again, I don't really know anything about the uh, cards. But let's go to a random card here. And this is a Marsh Adder. Creature... Under the boughs of Mirkwood, there was deadly strife of elves and men and fell beasts. Fellowship of the Ring. So, a nice little quote. Uh, the cards do look really nice. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. I'm assuming they have these things uh, coded. So, these are all like enemies. And then, if you go down to this other deck, uh, you've got. King Spider. <laughs> the rings, which are the characters, evidently. So here is Gandalf. Ally. And let's just go to another random card. Where is the Forest Snare? It's an attachment. And then we've got a Secret Pass event card with quest actions. So yeah, that's a that's pretty cool. So there's a one deck anyways. We'll stick it back in the uh, bag here. Seal it back up and uh, stick it back up here in the top. Let's take a look at the uh, other deck here and see what kind of goodies we have in it. So these all look like uh, the good guy stuff, <laughs> or at least not the enemy. So here is a, a hero card, Aragorn. We've got, let's go to this one, an event card, common chase, common calls, sorry, <laughs> can't read today. And we've got a, a an ally, Gondorian Spearman. We've got an event, which is a quick strike. We've got an attachment, a dwarven axe. We've got an event, strength of will. An attachment, the favor of the lady. And an ally, daughter of the Nimrodel. So yeah, these are all kind of cool looking. So yeah, lots of cool stuff in this set. Um, again, right now I have absolutely zero idea how to play this game. That will come after I read the rule book. But uh, this gives you an idea of actually what you get in this particular set. So you, uh, if you are interested in picking it up and seeing what it's all about, maybe this gives you some idea of what to expect. And that's really all I was hoping to get out of this today is the... Take a look at it and see what we were going to be looking for. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty cool looking set here. Um, I think this thing retails right now for about 40 bucks. So, not too terribly bad, actually, for a uh, desktop card game kit. That you can do the entire thing as one set, as opposed to trying to buy a whole bunch of other booster packs or whatever. Um, so, yeah, all in all, pretty good for the price. And again, they have uh, they have been running this for a few years now, so um, yeah, you can add the extra supplemental sets to this and uh, kind of grow this into a really huge thing if you are so inclined. But uh, at least for today, this is what's in the box. So thanks for watching. Hope you uh, got something out of this. Drop us some comments down below if you play this in the past or if you are currently playing it. All the better. 
Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share with others. And just uh, keep watching, I suppose. So, till next time.